So we are doing a case of uh, paraganglionoma uh, in the outer cable region. Uh, it was uh, in the groove between the IVC and portal vein. So here you see this is the portal triad, which is it is going under the portal triad. This is IVC. This is the left renal vein which we have looped. This is the right renal vein going here, and uh, below this in the outer, this is the IVC. This is outer. In the outer cable group, this was lying uh, in between the superior ventric and celiac axis on the aortic side, and in between the uh, portal vein and IVC, basically in this groove and abutting the caudate lobe of the liver. There. Now, what we have done is we, then you can see here, uh, what piece? You can see here uh, where in this area, this uh, tumor is actually. Uh, splaying this IVC and outer. This is outer here. See the pulsation. So it is splaying the outer and IVC, making a bigger space in between them, and then uh, going under the portal triad structure. I, this is the. You can see here. This is the portal vein, and this is the common bile duct which we have looped. I mean, which we have retracted. So I've done done most of the uh, dissection, and now the tumor. It was uh, adhered to this uh, outer cable region with a tough fibrotic tissue, and you can see here that we have used various clips and even used ligations in, at certain areas to gain control over the vasculature. And now we are through most of the dissection, nearly. Now the tumor is coming. This is the caudate lobe of liver. Uh, superiorly, it was abutting the caudate lobe, but there is no impact, no ed, uh, infiltration into the, in the into the lobe. And uh, now we are done through most of the dissection, and now we will be removing the tumor in a while. So, the gallbladder is peeping out sometimes. So, this, these paragangliomas are very rare, uh, and contrary to the paragangloma which we see with the adrenals. Uh, but uh, this is a non functional one. Thank you.